Okay. Mm. I think this is the entrance to the tunnel, Hezekiah's tunnel. See, here's this chamber we came down into. They carved this thing out of solid bedrock underneath the old city of Jerusalem, which is like actually outside of the city that's there now. That's a, that's a long ways down. Mm -hmm. Big it is. A giant cistern used for storing water during sieges. Obviously very large. It's like over 3,000 years old and some people speculate that Solomon would have actually been crowned right back here because even though we're below a lot of ground right now, it's because it's been built over so many times since then. Can I take a break? Yeah, bro. Oh, that must have been like a... I don't know what that was. <laughs> How do you have any sense of direction down here, my friends? Well, and it's turning. Like, would, it, would a compass work? Well, hardly. They turn so much. Perfectly square. This guy was amazing. Oh, it's, oh, it's getting taller. Look at this. Turning this rubbing shoulders on both sides. I'm just like... I can't believe I'm here. I'm using my cell phone to... Ooh, nice lens flare. There's like no light at all in here. But to think like Hezekiah, when would have Hezekiah existed? That would have been 3,000 years ago? 2,500? No, 3,000. 3,000 years ago, this place was dug. You can still see the chisel marks on the side. Like, ooh, hey! Right there where a bit went in. I want to get a piece of it and take it home, but... Oh. That's really narrow. That's what, 16 inches wide? Yep, about. It's kind of narrow and short. I can't stand up all the way. I keep running into the ceiling. It's well, like a shoulder's butt. The yeah, there's no way. If, if I weighed a little more, I couldn't make it. My backpack keeps rubbing on each side. This is a very low roof. Sharp corner right there. I don't know why. You'd think if they would just cut the tunnel straight, instead of having these curves in it. It probably slows the water down. Maybe so. It's a really fast stream, and that may not be what they wanted. Okay, just that sharp corner there. And then, a few feet this way. Equally sharp corner right here. Very narrow. Now watch this. Moves back exactly the same way we just came from. Okay, now watch. And then it moves right back again. And wait. Moves. Moves. Okay. Check this out. This is like a place where they chisel like this, ching, 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 and biting it out. The thing about this tunnel, they had two working crews on it. Two crews working on different ends, and they met, whoa, in the middle. It's what, it, how many feet is it? It's a 1,720 feet. 1,720 feet, chiseling through solid bedrock over 3,000 years ago not going straight at all and they somehow meet in the middle i i don't understand how they do that pull up the map and just look at it a little bit here we okay so if you do claustrophobic don't come here because this is our little hang on that's right all right, it's a good right there's the main tunnel and we kind of all right both it's, sides if you struggle with claustrophobia don't either don't come or come and get over it because yeah, it's, it's really awesome but you know <laughs> you're we are down under the earth Somewhere, you know, probably in here, and there is no access holes. Like, you know, there's like nothing. There's, there's like a two foot by six foot hole at one end. We entered there, and there's like maybe a little bit bigger one at the other end, and then it's like a quarter mile or more long mm -hmm. that 
you know, I don't think there's really any access holes. So if something happens, heart attack, you're stuck. You're stuck, bro. <laughs> you got to go out to the end. It's cool. And it's short enough that we're trying to stand up right now, but I keep banging my head. Right. And it's so narrow, our shoulders are rubbing. Right. So I'm not sure where we were. I can't really tell because there's not really any... No, there's no not, landmarks it's not, to, <laughs> it's not a detailed map, right. Uh, we turned off all of our lights just to experience it. I can't, I think I'm facing the wall right now. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. That's interesting. Is that the break room? <laughs> I mean, how'd they climb up there to chisel? Like, why would they chisel it so high? Uh, this water is not flowing fast. Not at all. <laughs> okay, the roof just got long. I think we must be getting close to the end there's something for perspective, so see how tall that is? That's up there. I mean, that's, that is up there. Why did they carve it so tall? Hey guys, we're at the end. What do you think these are? Places for torches? Maybe. There's no bird marks on the ceiling though, so how'd they light the place? something there. Yeah. There it is. This is the pool of Salon that Hezekiah would have built and fortified. So he would have built a bunch of walls around it. Now I doubt these are the original walls from that. They're saying it was re repurposed with the Byzantine Empire like 1500 years ago. So it's still really old, but it's not original to have a cut. Like, the pool is, but not the walls and stuff. So we got this super ancient pillar here. I'm not sure what for. Right there, the water comes out and feeds into this pool right here. Some ancient columns of some kind. 